Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top five favorite highlights. Um, I'm trying to get into this YouTube stuff and just be able to provide to you guys a variety of different videos. I don't want you guys to get bored with my content. Um, I do want to give you guys just a little bit of everything, whether it be like favorites, videos, makeup tutorials, times, um, like challenges. I want to just give you guys everything. Literally, I want to give you guys everything, okay? So I thought it would be really cool for me to share with you guys my top favorite highlights just because um, I feel like highlights are really the ones that I never really post. And I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but usually my highlight be popping really good, okay? I know that I've been posting a lot of selfies on Instagram and you guys are always telling me what highlight are you wearing, what highlight are you wearing, what highlight are you wearing and usually I'm pretty good about putting it in the description box but lately I haven't just because I've been freaking lazy and I just want to post a selfie and just you know have something up on my Instagram. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and do this video for you guys to just share with you which ones are the ones that are pretty much used on a regular basis, okay? So let's get right into the video. So the first highlight that I am completely in love with that I've been using probably every single day since I discovered it is the Ofra highlight and this one is the Rodeo Drive. If you guys have not picked up this highlight, I kid you not, you need to go right now and order it if it's not sold out. But this is the highlight that I'm actually wearing right now. And it's just so pigmented. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this highlight, you just put on a little bit and you're like glowing for the gods. Literally glowing for the gods. I'll swatch it for you on my finger so you can see how pigmented it is. Can you guys see that? There we go. It's absolutely pigmented. It's more on the like yellowish but more skin tone like um, I can't even describe this color because it's not super gold it's very I don't know how to even explain this color because it's not white but it's not gold it's like right in between you guys get it but it's a really beautiful color and this one I believe it retails for let me check the prices for you guys this one retails at Ulta for $29.99 and Ulta does have some. It looks like they're only sold online, but you guys need to pick up this highlight. It's beyond my favorite. I love this highlight. Um, the next one that I really like is the Artist Couture and it is in Coco Bling. I used to wear this one a lot when it first came out. Um, it would just got really messy with me traveling for me to take it on a regular basis because it would always like spill in my luggage and well not my luggage but like my little makeup case so I really stopped carrying it but this one um, when you apply it and you apply highlight you know how normally you get like that really flat um, wet you know kind of wet buttery look um, with Coco Bling it's loose pigments so it just kind of looks like you have glitter on your on your cheekbones and you're just highlighting and it really captures every single little pigment in this highlight sometimes i like to even put it like on my neck bone um like on my shoulders because it's loose pigment it just captures really pretty it's kind of like if you're wearing like that sparkly lotion but i absolutely love it i have a coupon code with um Artist Couture, unfortunately I don't think I have a coupon code with anybody else. If I do, I'll link it below, but I do for sure have one with Artist Couture, but this one is my second top favorite. Um, my third one is going to be by Becca, and this one of course is Opal. I know that you guys have seen this one everywhere, and this is what it looks like. And this one has more of a... Um, goldish rosy tone I'll swatch it for you guys you can tell that it looks a little bit more on the um, gold but it also has like a hint of a rosy tone to it which I love just depending on how I'm gonna do my makeup is what I'm gonna do my is how I'm gonna basically add my highlight um, the fourth one is going to be gold is the new black by dose of colors and I'm going to show you guys two dose of color shades just because 
I know it's going to be five, but I'm going to show you guys six because these two, since they're by Dose of Colors, they kind of just go with each other, okay? So the two uh, Dose of Colors highlights that I really am loving at the moment is the Gold is the New Black, and then this one is the Supreme Gold in Milk and Honey. This one is more on the bronzy side so if i wanted to give myself more of a bronzy look when i was on vacation in the dominican republic i was using this one a lot i would just kind of put foundation on my skin put some bronzer on add this highlight towards the top um and then just have my natural well not my natural but the ex my lash extensions that i had um and i just looked really glowy really bronzy so this is like the perfect highlight for vacations um, and then this one is the Milk and Honey, and it's more on the yellow side. I'll swatch these two. This one is the Gold is the New Black, and then this one is Milk and Honey. And Milk and Honey is really on the yellow side. So um, if you're a little bit more fair or if you're a little bit more on the tan side, I got tan, so I haven't been able to use this one lately, but um, before I would use it a lot. Now, since I'm a little bit more tan, I'm going through a little stage where I'm trying to figure out my life right now. Um, so if you're on the fair side, this one's going to look absolutely beautiful on you. If you're on the tan side, it might look a little too white. So just be careful with this one. But these are also two of my favorites at the moment. And then lastly, it's my go-to glow kit palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I live for this palette. It travels everywhere with me. This is my third palette guys because i've been using this little baby since it came out this highlight palette is absolutely stunning my favorite two are bubbly and dripping in gold um sunburst like i mentioned it's more on the yellow tone so since i'm a little bit more on the tan side i rarely approach this color but then this one a golden bronze is also if you want to go for more of a bronzy look you have a variety of four different shades so it's like why not? It's like I literally have Rodeo Drive, you know, Gold is the New Black, um, Supreme Gold, and Becca all in one palette. I mean, the pigmentation is completely different, but I mean, you get it. The shade wise, that's basically what you're getting with one palette. I didn't even tell you guys how much the um, dose of color palettes are. Okay, so the Dose of Color highlights retail for $28 at Ulta. And then the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills retails for $40. So it's a pretty good steal. Keep in mind, I know that a lot of this makeup seems a little pricey, but there's so much product in each one of these highlights that it's going to last you a really long time. Unless you like totally over highlight all the time then it might not last you as long, but I've had the Rodeo Drive for almost three months already, and I, I want to say I barely hit pan with it, and there's still so much product around it. Um, so you're definitely getting your money's worth, and on top of that, you're getting amazing highlights. I'm living for them. I just started trying out like the liquid highlights, so I'll let you guys know how I like those maybe another tutorial but for now these are my top favorite highlights um if you guys have any highlights that you guys want me to try or that you guys are loving at the moment definitely comment below let me know out of all of these which one is your favorite highlight and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know um definitely like the video so i know if this is the type of videos that you guys want to see and continue to see whether it be like different products liquid lipsticks mascaras foundations um that way i can kind of give start giving you guys more of an input of what i personally like and you know maybe have you guys try something different that you guys haven't already um but yeah enough rambling i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys all so much for watching and until next time love you guys the shit out of it like i excuse my language i need to work on my life i need to work on cussing because i cuss too much i almost fucking died <laughs>